accident alert is a term that flies around here when the snow does. You know, so many crashes, law enforcement can't get to all of them. There's no snow, but accident alerts are being used by police departments without the staff to respond to every call. Boulder police have used it more than 20 times in the last three months. Marshall Zellinger's up in Boulder where the weather was perfect, Marshall, for the new kind of accident alert day. Sunny turning into partly cloudy, rather warm, no jacket tonight, and it's pretty clear. Traffic, as you can see, still moving smoothly. No need for that accident alert on a day where Boulder police have used it before. The sun is out today in Boulder. The sprinklers are even on, and given the history of the last few months, it's a prime day for a Boulder police accident alert. I think that it, it gets used a little more uh, in, in modern policing. Boulder Police Commander Jack Walker wants you to know what we discovered. Accident alert is not based on weather. Either it's due to inclement weather and we have uh, more accidents that we have resources to take accident reports, or it means that due to call load or a major event or some other, something else that's occurring in the city, we don't have sufficient officers to break from calls to go to property damage accidents. Which explains why we keep getting emails rather regularly from Boulder Police announcing accident alert, even when the weather is nice. Take for example Thanksgiving. Boulder Police went on accident alert on a day that was mostly sunny and 61 degrees. Same with the day before Thanksgiving. That day was mostly cloudy with a light rain and 54 degrees. My favorite is September 27th. The email from Boulder Police said the city is on accident alert because of inclement weather and heavy call volume. The weather that day, 90 degrees. It would generally be due to priority calls like weapons calls or assaults or things of that nature that we just that we have to respond to more quickly. An email from September 17th said Boulder police were on accident alert because of staffing. I don't know why that would be reported. It may be that they were just saying that there was not enough staffing to handle the call load at that time. We have minimum staffing levels for each shift and those staffing levels are set at about nine officers per shift. The city of Boulder did not go on accident alert today, even though the weather could have called for it. Partly cloudy in 63 degrees. Regardless of why we go on accident alert, it means if you're in a minor accident, please exchange information. If accident alert is foreign to you, it's if you're in one of those minor accidents, no one's hurt, no alcohol's involved, uh, don't use it if someone's missing insurance also uh, or a driver's license. Kyle, now the question becomes, how are you supposed to find out about it? That's why the emails are coming to us because Boulder Police want the public to know for transparency, we're on accident alert. We don't have an insert in our newscasts for the 20 times over the last three months. So I'm assuming you'll find out if you call and dispatch is like, hey, we're on accident alert. You'll be waiting a while, just swap information. Marshall, you have to wonder, I mean, obviously, like, the cities have set up 311 systems because there are things that people call 911 for that you really don't need a police officer for. You have to wonder with the new reality of staffing and employment in America, whether it might just become more commonplace all over the place for us not to call police for more things. And we've seen that Endeavor Police did that for the uh, civilians handling minor accidents and property calls. And, and that's really what it comes down to. It's priority. And those things that if you found out that you were burglarized or your car was broken into, that's not going to reach the level to call 911 and have them respond right away. And that's where accident alert comes in. You're at the bottom of the list, so you're going to be waiting a while. I remember the first time one of those Denver Police Civilian Enforcement Unit labeled vans pulled up outside my house. I was like, ah, what'd I do? All right, thanks, Marshall.